Hi everybody, welcome to another class here on Verbling.com. My name is Lisa and I'm one of the many teachers here on Verbling.com, one of the English teachers of course. And in this hour we're going to be having a reading slash speaking class because we are going to be doing some reading but we also will talk a little bit as we are uh, going through the different little pieces of reading that we have in this uh, article which is really um, it's an article I, you could say but it's also a list of things so we're gonna be talking about this list of things I'm going to put the link to the website up right there and wait for people to join hi there Graciela how are you today Graciela are you there I can't hear you. Okay, well, <clears throat> we're going to wait for some more people to join as well. Um, I know that teacher Chad is just finishing up a class that had a lot of people in it, so perhaps some of those people have also uh, booked a reservation in this class because it did say that the reservations were all booked and the class was fully booked but um, sometimes people don't show up so we'll just see who shows up and after a couple minutes here if people don't show up then the join class button will appear and we um, anybody can join then so if you are a verbling.com member you can join a class at any time um, it's preferable if you can come to the class at the very beginning, then you get the whole hour or so of the class and you get to know what is happening in the very beginning. Uh, at the very beginning, then you can come at any time. You can always just come when it says, um, you know, the join class button is up there. And that's all you need to do is click on the join class button button it's right up there and it looks like some people say they can't join the class that's an error hmm I have to figure this out let me see I'm going to Okay, let's see. I, I reloaded this page, so let's see if people can try now and see if that works. So, hi Vicente. Looks like that worked. Hello everybody. Paz, how are you? Hi. 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 Good. Okay. Now it's working. Good. Some people were having a problem getting in. Hi, Santiago. How are you? He's, maybe he's having some connection problems. Uh, Nushaba, how are you? Uh, I, I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Good. And Nushaba, where are you from? No, I am from Azerbaijan. Oh, wow. Cool. Azerbaijan. What time is it there? Uh, now it's uh, eight uh, eight o'clock in the evening. Okay, in the so evening is. Mm -hmm. it's eight o'clock in the morning for me. So you're exactly twelve hours ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, welcome. And Paz, how are you doing today? Paz, are you there? And Graciela is coming back. Let's see. Some, it looks like there's maybe a little bit of a movement here in the class. People coming in and dropping out, so there might be some connection um, issues. I'm not sure. I'm not aware of anything. Hmm. I'm gonna have to let the technical support people know. Just to make sure that everything is working properly. So maybe they can fix something. I don't know what's the problem. But we will go with whoever can make it into the Google Hangouts. Hi, Moises. How are you doing?
Moises, are you there? Your microphone is not muted. Hmm. Vicente, are you there? Yes. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> I'm not hearing from anybody, so I don't know if it's working. Moises, are you there? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, let's uh, get started, and we will see if maybe um, the Verbling technicians can answer some of the questions about why some people are not able to uh, join. So we'll just see how it goes here. Santiago, I don't know um, what the problem is. I'm sorry you can't get in. It's, I guess you're getting the same error message. I'm not sure what that error message is about. So I put a little um, email or text message to um, the Verbling staff, and hopefully they will help us out here and see. I know Graciela is trying to get in as well and hasn't been able to uh, stay in the class. So we'll see. I'm imagining there are some people who aren't, are trying to get in since the class was uh, fully booked, but like I said, um, Chad was finishing up, and sometimes that can go over the hour. So we'll just see who shows up. Okay, you guys, welcome to class. Um, this is a reading kind of slash talking, speaking class. This is a very busy uh, website that I've chosen to read from today. And I didn't take it and put it onto a Google document because I wanted to us to be able to see all the pictures and everything. And so there's a lot of other stuff going on, all this top stuff, and of course all this crazy stuff on the side. But what we're going to focus on is the 24 invaluable skills to learn for free online this year. So as we all know, the internet has become has become a pretty amazing place to get a lot of different types of information and especially to help you learn uh, new things. So, okay, Santiago, it, it seemed to work? Is that better now? Yeah, yeah, it's working. <laughs> okay, it's working. good, good. Okay, and Moises, maybe you just need to keep trying. Maybe it'll work itself out. Sometimes there's some kind of... Uh, connection problem between the Google Hangouts and the Verbling application. So sometimes it's you just gotta keep trying and then it finally works. Okay, so um, <clears throat> this, you know, usually in the beginning of the year, like now, like where we are now, people make re resolutions. You probably talked about that already maybe in one of the classes. And what sometimes one of your resolutions might be to learn something new. So this article was written to help people find new things to learn, things that they might be interested in. So we're going to read about these 24 things and maybe talk about them a little bit. And then I also have the next hour, which is going to be a conversation class about learning and learning styles and things that we want to learn or we have learned and how we like to learn things. So it'll kind of go over if you want to join that class as well. All right, 24 invaluable skills to learn for free online this year. Here's an easy resolution. I'm going to make it a little bigger so you guys can see it. Here's an easy resolution. This stuff is all free as long as you have access to a computer. And the skills you learn will be invaluable in your career and or life in general. So an invaluable just means that it's... Um, you can't put a value on it. It's like a very important. There are great skills that you can um, use in your life or perhaps uh, related to your career. So the resolution is you resolve to do something new. So that's what the resolution means. You are thinking about, I'm going to do this for sure. A lot of times people make resolutions, but they don't always keep them. But we try. All right, let's see. As long as you have access... So as long as you can get to a computer, you can try these websites. So number one is become awesome at Excel. Chandu is one of many gracious Excel 
experts who wants to share their knowledge with the world. Excel excellence is one of those skills that will improve your chances of getting a good job instantly and it will continue to prove invaluable over the course of your career. What are you waiting for? Okay, let's see. We're going to start reading now. Number one, Vicente. Yes? Why don't you read number one again? Uh, okay. Some awesome to do is one of many gracious Excel experts who wants to tell the knowledge with the world. Excel excellence is one of the things that will improve improve your chance of getting a good job instantly and it will continue to prove invaluable over the course of your career. What are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Good. So let me go over some words here. Gracious. He is one of many gracious. So gracious means like generous and he's doing something that uh, is very helpful to other people. So a person, if you describe them as gracious, it's very he is very helpful um, and he's giving a lot away. So if you click on this link, for example, you'll see uh, a, it's a pretty simple website and then if you learn about him, he explains more who he is and why he's doing this. So he's an Excel expert and he created this whole website for people to learn new things about Excel. Excel is a spreadsheet program if you guys don't know so it's it's a uh, it's widely used throughout the world so lots of businesses um, whether you're doing some type of bookkeeping or accounting or projects that involve a lot of data information that you need to sort financial information perhaps or inventory things like that you would like to use Excel. So becoming an expert at, at <coughs> Excel or having excellence at Excel. <laughs> excellence just means you're really knowledgeable. You have really great skills. Um, it improves your chances of getting a good job instantly. So right away, if this is a skill, you if you're really good, then it's pretty easy to find a job. Okay. Another number two says learn how to code. They have this funny picture here of the dog. <laughs> Perhaps no other skill you can learn for free online has as much potential to lead to a lucrative career. Want to build a site for your startup? Want to build the next big app? Want to get hired at a place like BuzzFeed? You should learn to code. There are a lot of places that offer free or cheap online coding tutorials but I recommend Code Academy for their breadth and innovative program. If you want to try a more traditional route, Harvard offers its excellent introduction to some, uh, introduction to computer science course online for free. Okay, so I hear some other people are able to get in. So let's see who joined us. Hi, Lucas, and hi, Adela. Hello, Risa. Welcome. So we're just going through. Um, <clears throat> this article we just started, uh, we're just going one by one. There are 24 different things, so we'll see if we can get uh, through them all. They're short paragraphs, some are a little bit longer than others. Let's see, I just read the one about coding, so how about we have Santiago, why don't you read that uh, right there, that paragraph. Are you guys able to see it? You can also get it um, on your own computer so that you can see it better. <clears throat> okay, the second paragraph. Yeah, we're starting with perhaps. Okay. Uh, perhaps no other skill you can learn for free online has as much potential to lead to a lucrative career. Want to build a site for your startup? Want to build the next big APP? Want to get hired at a place like BuzzFeed? You should learn to code. There are a lot of places that offer free or cheaper like coding tutorials, but I recommend it Code Academy for the breadth and innovative program. If you want to try a more traditional route, Harvard offers its, its excellent introduction to computer science course online for free. Mm -hmm. Good. So a couple of words here. Uh, perhaps no other skill you can learn on free has much potential. Okay, so potential means the possibility of helping you do something. So in this case, uh, learning how to code has the potential to lead to 
So to get you to a lucrative career. Lucrative means lots of money. So if you have a lucrative career, you have the type of career that uh, can make you a lot of money. So coding, if you're really good at coding, then you can make a lot of money is basically what it's saying. So you can use coding for lots of different types of things, to build a, a, a website, for example, to get hired at a place, to build a, an application, an app for short. Um, there's a lot of places to do it. A tutorial, coding tutorials. If you go through a tutorial, it means that you're learning um, by uh, like little uh, lessons. So tutorial takes you one lesson at a time and it gets more and more difficult each time you learn something new. So, of course, here you guys can uh, click on these to see if you wanted to. So, for example, if you go here, Code Academy, it you get to do it interactively and for free. So, you just type in stuff and you can get started. So, that's the website, what it looks like. And let's see, there's other... Um, programs that he likes to or that are available but he says he likes this one because of their breadth. Breadth means how wide something is so in this case when you're thinking of uh, the, what you're learning it's, it, you think of the breadth is how much you can learn so it's not just a little bit but you can learn a lot on this particular website and also it's innovative it means it's new it's um, something that's not uh, an old way of doing something it's a new interesting way of doing it. So, But if you like a traditional route, which means like a teacher lecturing or something like that, then you can also take a free Harvard class on computer science. So if you guys are interested in coding, that might be something cool to check out. Number three, make a dynamic website. You could use a pre-existing template or blogging service, or you could learn Ruby on Rails and probably change your life forever. Here's an extremely helpful long list of free Ruby learning tools that includes everything from Rails for Zombies to learn Ruby the hard way. Go Ruby! Some basic programming experience like one of the courses above might be helpful but not necessarily required if you're patient with yourself. So to make a dynamic website. So a dynamic website means you can interact with it. There's things that are going on. It's not just a static page. So that's a, a, different, a little bit different than just learning the programming. So let's see who's next. Boss, how about you read that number three? In your Google use a pre-existing template or building service or you could learn Ruby on rice and probably change your life forever. Here's an extremely helpful long list of free Ruby learning tools that includes everything from Rails for zombies or learn Ruby the hard way. Go Ruby! Uh, some basic programming experience like one of the tools above might be helpful, but not necessarily required if you are patient with yourself. Mm -hmm. So a pre-existing template, so that means like uh, you, um, if you've ever tried to make a website, you know that you can go online and you can find um, uh, templates. A template is like you just plug in your different title, it already has everything uh, formatted for you, so it's already existed. So it's pre-existing. You could do that, or you could use a blogging service like Blogspot or Blogger.com or WordPress or something like that. But if you want to <clears throat> do something really amazing, then this program, Ruby, so the pronunciation here is, is Ruby, and Ruby is this color right here, and it's also a gem. But the name of the programming language is Ruby on Rails. <clears throat> And you can learn that. Let's see, uh, anything here? I think everything here is probably understandable by you guys. Um, any questions on this one? It's, you might, courses, you know, classes. Um, you, it's not necessarily required. So the pronunciation on that is required. So you don't necessarily have to know how to program already, but it could be helpful. 
All right. Learn to make a mobile game. <laughs> Does anybody know what this picture is doing here? What game they're trying to make fun of? Do you see what these little pieces are? Anybody? Uh, candy? candy? Yeah. Candy, yeah, candy. <laughs> candy Crush. <laughs> so Candy Crush is a very popular game. Uh, we, we read about it the other day when they're making nearly a million dollars every single day in uh, in-app purchases, people playing that game all around the world. And so this picture is he's crushing the candy with a hammer <laughs> and he's moving them into different positions like the game does. All right, so if you're not interested in coding anything uh, other than fun game apps, you could try this course from the University of Reading. Uh, it promises to teach you how to build a game in Java, even if you don't have programming experience. If you want to make a truly great game, you might want to read or listen up on game theory first. And so, of course, they're giving you the different links here. So you can always go to those sites to see. Uh, Lucas, why don't you read that little part there? <laughs> These pictures are kind of annoying. After a while, <laughs> it's the same thing over and over. I'm going to hide it there. <laughs> uh, if you are not interested in coding anything other than fun games apps, you could try this course from the uni University of Reading. Uh, it promised to teach you how to build a uh, game in Java. Java, yeah. J Java. It's another, yeah, coding language, yeah. Uh, if, even if you don't have programming uh, experience, if you want to make a truly game, great, tru truly great game, game mm -hmm. you might uh, want to read, listen up on game theory first. Mm -hmm. Good. So if you're not interested in, so if you don't really care about uh, coding something else, you just want to do some fun game app, then you could try this course, clicking on that link. It promises, so they tell you, you will learn how to build a game in Java. Java is another language, computer programming language. And even if, so you do not need to have experience already so even if you don't have experience programming then you can use this uh, course to learn uh, but you might want to read or listen up so you might want to listen to some lectures or something here if you click on this uh, link about game theory that, that will give you some ideas first start reading faster so here we have this picture of somebody talking speed reader or spreader is the name here. Spreeder is a free online program that will improve your reading skill and comprehension no matter how old you are. With enough practice you could learn to double, triple, or even quadruple the speed at which you read passages currently, which is basically like adding years to your life. <laughs> adding years to your life. Okay, Adela. We're at Spreeder, number five. Adela, are you there? Hmm. I don't hear you. If you're if you're talking on your mic, I don't hear you. It's not um it's not muted though. Uh, Lisa Yes. Mark, uh, can you type the link in the Yeah. Yeah, I just saw that she needs a link. Adela, do you need the link? I'm gonna I put it in the Google chat and I just put it again in the Verbling chat. So Vicente, why don't you go ahead and read? And maybe she had to leave her computer for a minute. Right here it's Spreeder. Spreeder is a free online program that will improve your reading skill and compression comprehension. Mm -hmm. No matter how old you are, with enough practice, you could learn to download, triple, or even quadruple the speed, the speed at which you read passage currently, which is basically like adding years to your life. Mm -hmm. Good. 
So if you want to improve, improve your reading skill and comprehension. Comprehension is do you understand what you're reading? So you want to not only read faster, but make sure that you understand. No matter, so it doesn't really matter, or it's not important how old you are. You can still learn how to do it. As long as you have enough practice, you could double, triple, or even quadruple. So you could, you know, four times the speed. And so what this person is saying, it's basically, so that pronunciation is with the um, A, basically like adding years to your life because you could read more. <laughs> you can read more in that time. Number six, learn a language. So uh, Verbling obviously is not on here, but uh, Verbling has a membership, but it's also free to watch the videos, so that's true. Uh, but there's a, a application called Duolingo. So with Duolingo, you can learn Spanish, French, Portuguese, Italian, or English from any of the above or more. There's a mobile app and a website, and the extensive courses are completely free. Full disclosure, BuzzFeed and other websites are in a partnership with Duolingo, but they did not pay or ask for this placement. Okay, Santiago. Santiago, your microphone's muted. Hi, Graciela. Okay, Paz, are you there? Yes. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. we lost something. So, number six, Duolingo. With? With Duolingo, you can learn Spanish, French, Portuguese, Italian, or English from any of the book or more. There is a mobile app and a website and the extensive course are completely free. Full disclosure, mm -hmm. book feed and other websites are in a partnership with Duolingo, but they didn't know paid or ask for this placement. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Duolingo is a website where you can practice your uh, these some of these different languages, not every language, but uh, a few of the more popular ones these days. And um, it is extensive. So extensive means there's lots to do there. And this full disclosure, you're, you're supposed to do this in business whenever you're advertising something or uh, mentioning it. Uh, you need to disclose or to let people know if you have some kind of affiliation or relationship with them. So they are in a partnership, but they're not getting... Um, any money or something for this placement, so to be placed in this article. All right, another thing you could do is pick your own vegetables. Tired of your farmer's market haul going bad before you use it all? Or do you just love tangy pickled veggies? You too can pickle like a pro thanks to Skillshare and Travis Grillo. So another thing to learn this year, you want to learn how to do that. Okay, Lucas. Number seven, pickles. Uh, tired of your farmer's market haul. Haul. Uh -huh. uh, haul. Yeah. Uh, going bad before you use it all. Or do you just love tangy? 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 Mm -hmm. Tangy. Uh, pickled veggies. You too, you too can uh, pickle like a pro. Thanks to. Skillshare and Travis Grillo. Mm -hmm. So this is interesting. So the the question is, are you tired, really? Are you tired of your farmer's market haul? So your haul is like um, the amount of stuff that you get from the farmer's market. So if you go to the farmer's market and you buy a bunch of vegetables or fruits or whatever and, and you put it all in a basket, that's your haul. And are you, and so you're they're asking you, are you tired of it going bad before you use it all? So you buy a lot of stuff at the market, you bring it home, and then it goes bad before you can eat it. So in order to uh, you know save your food and be able to eat it later, you can learn how to pickle. So a pickle is a cucumber that's been pickled. That's what we call it. It's called pickled. So you put it in like a uh, 
maybe some salt water and let it sit, you know, for five days or put it with other things. That's called pickling. Um, tangy, that is a word that's describing how something tastes. So you have sweet, you have sour, but tangy is specific like the taste of pickles, like kind of like sour and um, it's not really sweet. All right, improve your public speaking skills. So if you're interested in that, you can take the University of Washington's Intro to Public Speaking for free online. Once you learn a few tricks of the trade, you'll be able to go into situations like being asked to present at a company meeting or giving a presentation in class without nearly as much fear and loathing. <laughs> loathing. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. Graciela, is your mic working? I'm not sh I see you in here, but I haven't heard from you yet. Hi. Hey, all right. Ah, oh, thanks Yay. a lot. <laughs> you made it. Okay, well, yeah. did you, are you with us here? You can read that. Uh, number, number eight. eight. Yeah, number eight. You can, for public speaking. Uh, okay. You can take the University of Washington intro to public speaking for free online. Mm -hmm. well, once you learn a few tickets of the tra trade, mm -hmm. tricks of the trade, you uh, the trade, you able to got into into situation like be being asked to present at a company meeting. Or give it a presentation in class without nearly uh, as much fear and looking. Loathing. Yeah. Loathing. Exactly. Right. The th thing. Okay. So if you want to improve your public speaking, so here we have this uh, guy in this movie. I forget what it's called. Uh, but it was a funny movie. He's giving a presentation in front of his class. Um, you can take this free online course and learn a few tricks of the trade. That's a phrase that we use. It means you learn a few kind of secret things that you can do in the trade. The trade is whatever you're trying to learn. So in this case, it's public speaking. So a few things that can help you be a better speaker. A, tricks, a few tricks of the trade. And you'll be able to go into situations or places like a classroom or at a company or something in order to give better presentations without nearly, so without hardly any uh, fear. So you're not afraid. And loathing. Loathing means to hate something. If you really hate it, you're just like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go in there and talk in front of everybody. That's loathing. So you'll you'll get loathing. over your fear. Yeah, you'll get over your fear and you'll get over your loathing for having to do this. You won't. It won't be a big deal, basically, if you learn how to do it uh, right. Number nine, get a basic handle of statistics. UC Berkeley put a stats intro class on iTunes. Once you know how to understand the numbers yourself, you'll never read a biased news article the same way again. 100% of authors of this post agree. <laughs> Statistics. Okay. Uh, Vicente. That's a sh short little sentence there, but you can read that. Number nine. Vicente, are you there? Yes. Okay, great. Yes, yes. You see Berkeley. You see Berkeley. Uh-huh. You see Berkeley. Berkeley. Put yeah. a stats into uh, Intro. class on Eton, iTunes. Mm -hmm. Sorry? So, uh, yeah, keep going. Can you hear me well? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Into class on iTunes. Well, uh, once you know how to understand the number yourself, you'll never read a blessed news article the same way again. 100% uh, of uh, authors of this post agree. <laughs> yeah, so statistics you guys might know is uh, kind of a 
area of math where you're talking about like percents, like this 50% of the people did it this way, 50% did that way, and so you can read about, uh, or they use statistics a lot of time in biased news articles. Biased means you have a certain um, uh, position about something and you want other people to agree with you, so you might show the information in a certain way that people will agree with you. It's biased though, it's not objective. Um, so that word is biased there. And if you know how to understand the numbers, how to read the numbers, the statistics, then you, you will understand it better. So that's something you, you might want to learn, statistics. Understanding basic psychology. Knowing the basics of psych, which is short for psychology, will bring context to your understanding of yourself, the dynamics of your family and friendships, what's really going on with your coworkers, and the woes and wonders of society in general. Yale University has its Intro to Psychology lectures online for free. Intro is always short for introduction. So whenever you take a class that's an introduction, it's just learning kind of the basics. Okay, Bus. Knowing the basics of fix will bring context to your understanding of yourself, the dynamics of your family and friendships, what's really going on with your colleagues, and the goals, the wonders of society in general. Yale University has its intro to psychology lectures online for free. Mm -hmm. Okay, so knowing the basics of psych, so that word is psych, it's like this Y has a long I sound, psych will bring context. So you'll start understanding things better, basically, about why people do the things that they do. The dynamics of your family and friendships, it means the dynamics is what goes on. So what happens in your family, what happens with your friends. It's another way to say what's really going on. So the dynamics and the woes and the wonders of society. So the woes would be the bad things. What, why do people suffer? what's wrong, and the wonders, what the beautiful things that happen to people in our uh, societies. All right, number 11, make your own music. You can learn how to make music. This one's a little bit longer. Step one, learn how to play guitar. Justin Guitar is a fine and free place to start learning chords and the basic skills you'll need to be able to play guitar. From there, it's up to you. But once you know the basics, just looking up tabs for your favorite songs and learning them on your own is how many young guitar players get their start. Plus, it's an excellent party trick. Step two, a delightful free voice lesson from Berklee College of Music. Step three, have you always thought you had an inner T-Swift? Berklee College of Music offers an introduction to songwriting course completely for free online. The course is six weeks long, and by the end of the lesson, you'll have at least one completed song. Step four, Life Hacker's Basics of Music Production will help you put it all together once you have the skills down. You'll be recording your own music, ready to share with your Valentine or the entire world in no time. Okay, Lucas. Music. Mm, uh, learn how to play guitar. Uh, just, just in guitar is a uh, fine and free place to start learning chords and the chord. bass chord? No, it's this this CH sound is actually a hard C sound, so it's k chords. 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 Uh huh. Guitar uh, chords. Yeah. And the basic skills uh, you will uh, need to be able to play guitar from there. It's up to you, but once you know uh, the basics, just looking up tabs for your favorite songs and learning them on your own. It's, it's how many young guitar players get their start. Plus, it's excellent uh, party trick. Step two, uh, a delightful free voice lesson from Berkeley College of Music. Step three, have you always thought 
you had a, an inner T suite. Berkeley College of Music offers an intro introduction to songwriting course completely for free online. The course is six weeks long and by the end of the lesson you will have at least one completed song. Step four, Life Hackers Basic of Music Production will help you put it all to together. Once you have the skills done, uh, you will be recording your own, own music ready to share with your Valentine or the entire world in no time. Mm -hmm. Good. So different things you can learn online, playing the guitar. So yeah, you the guitar you play chords, um, so that's how you say that, chords, and then also tabs, that's another tablature, it's short for tablature, it's a way of reading um, guitar notes and learning how to play songs. It's an excellent party trick. So if you're at a party and you pull out a guitar and you know how to play a couple of songs, that's a fun thing. So that's kind of like a party trick, something you can do that is fun at a, at a party with other people. You can take voice lessons, a delightful, delightful just means a nice, pleasant, fun, so it's very um, fun to do this lesson here. And T. Swift just refers to Taylor Swift, who's a singer, so if you thought you had an inner Taylor Swift, which means you think you're um, a singer or a songwriter, you could learn how to write songs. And let's see, Life Hackers. Music production, that's like recording it all and getting it all uh, produced so that other people can hear it. So that's what that's about. And you can learn that how to do that in time for your Valentine. Your Valentine is the person that you uh, give a present to on Valentine's Day <clears throat> here in the U.S. Um, in February. Okay. All right. Learn to negotiate. Negotiate. Let Stanford's Stan Christensen explain how to negotiate in business and your personal life, managing relationships for your personal gain and not letting yourself be steamrolled. There are a lot of football metaphors, and it's great. Okay, Graciela. Let's stand, stand, Stanford. Stanford. Stanford's Stan Christensen. Christ, Christensen. Chris, uh, Christensen. Mm -hmm. Explain how to negotiate in business and your personal life. Manage res, uh, relationships. Let, uh, relationships mm -hmm. for your personal again and not let it yourself fit steam steam road mm -hmm. steam road there are a lot of football metaphors and it's a, it's great mm -hmm. okay so this what this means here is let stanford stan christensen so stanford is the name of a university and stan christensen mm -hmm. is the professor so he's going to give you a class on how to negotiate in business. So to negotiate something means to um, make a deal. So for example, you want to buy something, you have to negotiate the price between the other person, the buyer and the seller. You can also negotiate things in your personal life, for example, with your partner or, or your family or something. You might want to learn how to get more of what you want, how to manage those relationships for your personal gain. Your personal gain is so that you get more of something that you want. So maybe you want more money in your job or you want more respect from your children or you know something like that. Um, and so that you don't let yourself be steamrolled. So to be steamrolled means people walk over you. So you don't really have a voice and you don't know how to stick up for yourself and you let other people just make all the decisions even if they're not good for you. That's being steamrolled. Like a steamroller is just pushing you over. There are a lot of football metaphors. So that's American football. So this guy, he's probably a big football fan and so he talks a lot about 
football as it relates to how uh, to negotiate. Number 13 is stop hating math. <laughs> if you struggled with math throughout school and now have trouble applying it in real world situations when it crops up, Try Sailor.org's Real World Math Course. It will reteach you basic math skills as they apply. IRL. Very helpful. Okay, so Vicente, why don't you read that one for us? Struggling with math. Yes. If you struggle with math throughout the school and now have trouble. Uh, trouble? A trouble. Applying. Double applying it in real world situations when it crops up. Try silo out real world math course. It will be taught teach you basic math skills as they apply I L L very helpful. Yes. Okay. If you struggled, so if you struggle with something, it, it's hard for you. So sometimes math can be difficult for people, and maybe you have trouble now applying it to your life. So in real world situations, maybe you aren't so good with math. This idea is when it crops up, so when it comes up. <clears throat> so if math comes up, like you have to figure something out and you have to use math and you're not sure, how to do that very well, then you can learn it again. You can reteach yourself or relearn um, basic math skills. So basic math skills, adding, subtracting, dividing, um, multiplying, fractions, decimals, things sure. like that. And IRL means in the real world, in real life, sorry, in real life. <laughs> okay. Did somebody have a question? <clears throat> no? Okay. All right. You can start drawing. Learn how to draw. All kids draw. So why do we become so afraid of it as adults? Everyone should feel comfortable with a sketchbook and pencil. And sketching is a wonderful way to express your creativity. Draw space is a great place to start. I also highly recommend the book Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain if you can drop a few dollars for a used Copy. Okay. Uh, boss, you want to read that one about drawing? Uh, all guides drawing, so why do we become uh, so afraid of it as adults? Everyone should feel comfortable with us. Sketch Sketch sketchbook. Sketchbook. And pencil and spreading is a wonderful way to express your creativity. Draw space is a great place to start. I also want to recommend the book Driving on the Right Side of the Brain if you can draw a few dollars for a used copy. Mm -hmm. So, why do we become so afraid of drawing as adults? So, people. Uh, he's saying we should feel comfortable, so you should be okay with it. And a sketchbook. A sketchbook is a book that you draw in. You do sketches. Sketching is drawing, kind of with just black and white pencil usually, kind of a quick way to draw something. Um, so, yeah, it's a great place, great place to start. So it's a good website that you can use to start uh, learning to draw. If you can drop a few dollars, there's a phrase here, if you can drop a few dollars, it means if you can spend. So if you can spend a couple of dollars on a used copy of this book, then he says it's good. It's a good book to use. Number 15, make your own animated GIF. The GIF is a file format for pictures. BuzzFeed's own Katie Notopoulos has a great, simple guide to making an animated GIF without Photoshop. This is an animated GIF right here. This is a picture and it moves. That's animated. This is all you need to be the king or queen of Tumblr or your favorite email chains. Okay, Moises. Hi there. You want to read that one about making GIFs, animated Hello. GIFs? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Buffett on 
Katie Notopoulos has a great, simple guide to make to making an animated GIF without Photoshop. This is all you need to be the king of or ki the king or queen of two mil of your favorite favorite emails change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so the king or queen just queen. means you're going to be like really well known, really famous, famous, popular. popular. <laughs> you can own it. Own it. Yeah, yeah, I like I like if you put uh, faces that uh -huh, you know. Uh -huh. For yeah, example, yeah. My, my face or my or the or the face of my friends. Right. So, right. so they are animated gifts for Christmas, especially. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's, totally awesome. that's awesome. Cool. Oh, and this is another, another animated, animated one. one. <laughs> this guy <laughs> dancing. dancing. Okay. Appreciate, okay, appreciate jazz. jazz. Have you Have never, never really, really gotten, gotten jazz? jazz? If you want if you to be, want able, to be able, able to participate, participate in conversation, conversation. Well, says I have an I echo have from echo your microphone. microphone. There you go. Thanks. Have you never really gotten jazz? If you want to be able to participate in conversations at fancy parties and or just add some context to your appreciation of all music, try this free online course from UT. Austin. Moises, why don't we have you read that one again since you have only been here a little bit so you can read a little bit more. Okay. Had you, had you never really gotten the jazz? If you want to be able to participate in conversations at fancy parties and or just add some context to your appreciation of all music Try this free online course from UT Austin. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So to to get something, I'm gonna mute. You. Can you mute yourself again? Thank you. To um to get something means to understand it. So if you've never really gotten jazz, so you never really understood jazz music, um, you might want to learn about it a little bit. This is um. That's called music appreciation. So you don't necessarily like it. It's not your favorite music, but maybe you can appreciate it when you understand it a little bit better. So you might be able to understand um, jazz better and appreciate it, which might help you be able to participate in conversations at fancy parties. <laughs> You'll be able to talk about it and understand it at least, even if you don't really uh, like it. Number 17, write well. McAllister College's lecture series is excellent. If you're more interested in journalism, try Wikiversity's course selection. So um, if you're wanting to learn how to write better, you could look at that. Um, lecture series is just a bunch of lectures that uh, you can listen to probably if you click on that link right there. Journalism is if you're interested in specifically writing about um, news, news articles and things like that. All right, I'm going to go on to this one. Get better at using Photoshop. Another invaluable skill that will get you places in your career, learning Photoshop, can be as fun as watching the hilarious videos on You Suck at Photoshop or as serious as this extensive Udemy training course focused on photo retouching. Okay, Lucas, how about you read about Photoshop? Right there. Okay, sorry. Uh, another in, invaluable mm -hmm. skill that uh, will get you pla your places in your career. Uh, learning Photoshop can be as fun as watching the hilarious, hilarious, yeah, hilarious uh, videos on your sack at Photoshop, or as ser serious as this extensive uh, iDemy training course uh, focused on photo retouching. Retouching. Yeah, good. Retouching. So another um, invaluable skill that will get you places. So that means it will help you um, do better in your career. It'll get you to probably more money, more interesting um, jobs, things like that. So getting better at Photoshop. So you can watch these hilarious videos. Hilarious means funny. 
So if you want to click on this website, you might see some funny uh, videos that you suck, which means you, you're not very good at Photoshop. Or if you're more serious about really learning a specific skill, you could take this extensive course. So again, it has extensive means you learn a lot. It's just a lot to learn. Uh, you can learn how to take decent pictures, so good pictures. Life Hacker's Basics of Photography might be a good place to start. Learn how your camera works, the basic of composition. It should say the basics. The basics of composition and editing images in post-production. If you finish that and you're not sure what to do next, here's a short course on displaying and sharing your digital photographs. Okay, uh, Graciela. Okay. Life, uh, life Hackers, Basic mm -hmm. of Photography. 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 Mm -hmm. Might be a good place to start. Learning now your camera works. The basic of composition and edit images in post production. If you finish that and you're not sure what. What to do next? Here's a short, his his a short course on display and share your digital phot photograph. photographs. Photographs. Photo photographs. Mm -hmm. Photography. Okay, so if you want to learn how to take pictures, a good place to start. So that would be a nice place or you know a, a, a good beginning for you you can learn how your camera works the basics of composition so that means like um, light and dark and things like that mm -hmm. editing images uh, in post-production so after you already take the pictures then what do you do with them that's called post-production you edit them and then you need to learn how to put them up somewhere maybe on a website for example that's called displaying and sharing so displaying is showing people what you did and sharing it, um, you know, sending it through emails or putting it up on a website. Number 20, learn to knit. Instructables has a great course by a woman who is herself an online talk. So she learned herself how to knit online. You'll be making baby hats and cute scarves before this winter's over. All right, we only have one minute, so we're just going to quickly just read this the headings here. Get started with investing in stocks. <laughs> so this picture of this lady counting her money. So you can learn how to um, start investing like in the stock market. Clean your house in a short amount of time. So there's some tricks you can learn for being a quicker house cleaner. Start practicing yoga. So if some, get some exercise and doing some stretching. You can learn for free online. And lastly, Tie your shoelaces more efficiently. <laughs> uh, so that's just a silly one there at the very end. Okay, you guys. Well, there's 24 different things you could learn for free online this year. Anybody interested in any of those? <laughs> you could learn something. Coding. For Lucas, you might have some uh, things there you could learn for a, a new business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Many, many things are interesting. Uh-huh. Yeah, cool. All right, you guys, we used up our whole entire hour just getting through that. I hope it was interesting. And if you're, you know, if you guys found it interesting, you could always follow the links to some of those websites. Um, definitely, they look fun and interesting. And some of them might have uh, videos, which, if you're interested in the topic, would be good for listening uh, practice for you guys. Um, but since I have the next class, I need to finish this one and then I'll start the next one in which we're going to be talking about learning in general and learning styles and things that we want to learn and what kinds of things have been easy to learn or difficult for us to learn that type of thing so if you want to now talk more <laughs> yeah, that'll be for the next hour this one was more reading and listening comprehension uh, listening to me read okay thanks okay. for coming to class I'm sorry it was a little bit difficult to, to get in I don't know what the problems were the okay. technology problem. Okay, two minutes. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. You're welcome. Yeah.